Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Political Activation. Today I am going to be talking about political stability within an unstable government. Now to start off with this topic, it's usually it's usually about many of the various governmental agencies that currently occupy the, the, the District of Columbia, otherwise known as Washington, D.C., and these these organizations, such as special interest groups, uh, PAC, uh, PACs, lobbyists, um, and and other various groups within that area territory of the of the U.S. occupy a very large portion of that territory. Now, the important part about remaining stable and unstable. A democracy and completing an objective that correlates to the the out, the outcome of a goal that you you are currently trying to achieve at, the, at any given moment. Uh, the the factors that heavily influence that goal are number one, stable governments. Number two. Uh, uh, competition, you know, free market competition, and number three, uh, political stability. I'd argue political stability is 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 a, is a huge one. Uh, I'll just start off with that one. Political stability means being able to calmly, collectively distinguish between any given ideas at any moment in order to facilitate an ongoing relationship with a person, group, or organization uh, to achieve some purpose. While that may be the case and while it's easy to understand the the downsides and the challenges that come from that, it's definitely one of the most difficult um, things to achieve in terms of the continuing political stability within the region. Uh, many there are so many different actors that influence that those policy decisions, and those actors usually create you know some p- a powerful way of entering the sphere of politics, or they create some barrier that influences a lot of the discussions and and a lot of the uh, you know the admissions of other people within that group so they exclude some people they include some people whoever they see fit and that's sort of how the process uh, works of course there are, there are more complicated uh, intricate details that are inside of the process in which they create to filter out these individuals that obviously do not harbor their same ideas and harbor their same belief systems and those are, those people get filtered out of the system, and those people are typically just removed from the system uh, naturally as as time passes. Uh, but that's 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 part of that's why the the political stability um, political stability factor is one of the most important ones. Uh, number one, I believe I said uh, gov- uh, government. Um, you know, a, a government that's you know in directly influencing uh, decisions in at the at the political realm and at the government realm at the uh, at the congressional this uh, legislative pro- policy making process. Those legislators are some of the most influential in terms of. Building policies that impact the average person um, and uh, impact the 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 legislator themselves, and um, stemming building off of those ideas, the the process of passing a bill into law is a very simple one, and it can be explained in a in a normal civics class. But this is this is obviously just a a podcast reg- regarding political topics but number one i believe is government that is the sole method of keeping us keeping a uh stable political 
um, purpose on the path forward. So that's number one. I already explained number three is the political stability, which is also a key factor. And then number two is, um, uh, I totally forgot what that was, but I said something along the lines of the the calm, the you're maintaining a calm, cool uh, demeanor during a during a you know discussion regarding politics or during a conversation regarding politics, and that's sort of the critical issue, you know, uh, is maintaining a critical critical demeanor and an attitude that that allows you know you know a lot of inputs from different people and inputs from many other viewpoints and that's a critical issue uh and and you know in 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 order to build a uh, a really effective democracy those three things those three uh those three things have to be put in place uh as a foundation to you know enjoining to to just in order for a particular mode of an organization to exist, a an organization to exist, it must have these core principles, um, and these principles guide the action of the individuals. And in order for a political stable government to maintain itself for a long period of time, it must harbor some sort of uh, not necessarily coercive power, but it must harbor some sort of power, um, such as government and such as, um, political power, um, that uh, propels it forward for the purpose of achieving its ends. However, um, all, you know, a lot of all powers are not the same and therefore it's pretty challenging and pretty, there's a lot of obstacles that are in the way. Of achieving those particular goals and it's important to realize that that you know maintaining a stable government with regard to any any particular governmental agency whether it be the CIA FBI or whatever but many bureaucracies especially um, in you know Washington DC it's probably you have a better chance of just simply maintaining a democracy or f- pretty much forgetting about democracy completely and going with the the majority of the people the populists you know the republican side of the aisle you know the populism um you know the you know the conservative value leadership those type of people that are really you know on the heavy side of the conservative spectrum on the right side and those are typically where you're going to find many of the conservative leaderships which harbor a lot of political power and they are pretty stable however they lack one they lack one fundamental quality and that's um the ability to to like i mentioned before maintain a a, a stable political uh field and maintain um calm collect demeanor and maintain a state a stable government they, they they do not have stable governments they have reactionary governments they have simply you know, fascist governments you know they you know that's that's the belief systems that they they institute inside of themselves to to create this this sort of delusional picture of what of what is actually going on in the world and it's not really true uh and you know people a lot of people are just disillusioned by the fact that uh you know many people view this as morally correct or they view this as as correct when in reality it's not correct uh it's simply a fault false uh belief system and it doesn't it doesn't even make any sense and it just causes problems but that's the reason they keep you in this system is for that very purpose so that you can doubt your own, your own belief systems and because of that fact uh 
that's why maintaining political stability in an unstable government is probably very, very important and highly critical to maintaining, you know, many relationships and many things and maintaining just a healthy overall functional society. And that makes sense. Um, and I agree with those sentiments. And I think democracy's only way forward is for people to rise up, you know, the average regular person to rise up and speak out against injustices such as, uh, you know, racism, prejudice, um, you know, violence, you know, uh, false lies, you know, big lies. I think those are some of the critical issues in our democracy thus far. Racism, uh, you know, the, the end of truth seems to be one of the, the critical moments as well. The end of truth, um, the ability, well, the inability for some people to grasp the notion of truth in a way that they can actually understand and build inside of themselves and it's not as easy as you think it is to, to grasp that notion because people don't really they're not as they're not as intelligent as you may think or they're not as courageous or brave as you might think you may assume that someone is very courageous and very smart bright amazing but in reality you get to know them they're very dull very dumb very boring not to be insulting but they are, that's just how they, they operate in a system of, of uh, dysfunctional, um, what would you call it, government. In, in a system of dysfunctional government, th that's how they operate themselves. And that's how they um, operate to, to control other people. And it's, it's pretty much the way that they live in, in a society where the only thing that's, that pretty, pretty much matters is to control others, uh, and and that's that's totally you know their choice. Uh, you know I think for democracy to continue forward, democracy has to be at the core value. You know the the truth of democracy itself has to be at the very the core principle of any given system, um, and of course it has to also include those three reasons as well that I previously uh, uh, spoke about earlier in the podcast, and therefore. Um, including all those three reasons and then including the past thing that I just said with regarding the cool, calm, and collected demeanor uh, plus the uh, maintaining core principles such as democracy um, and leadership. Uh, with all that combined, that's how you maintain a critical democracy and maintain a smart democracy but it has to all you know coalesce into one single concept and one all these elements have to come together you know they have to be uh you know they have to be uh mixing uh together for that to be a, a real thing uh but you know if without those elements if you just forget one of those elements obviously then you don't have a democracy you have a you have a you have a authoritarian system regime that seeks power at, at the cost of everybody else and there are a lot of those there are, those systems are heavily prevalent um and yeah i mean there you know there there isn't any shortage of of dysfunctional systems there's a there's a shortage of truth truthful systems uh and that's all i want to say on that topic thank you all for listening have a great day